high school family, it's Teacher Kim and I'm in my backyard wanting to read you a really silly book called Belly Button Boy. And it's written by Peter Maloney and Felicia Sikoskis. And based on the title and the cover, what do you think might happen in this book? Why do you think someone might be called Belly Button Boy? Also, when I say the title, do you hear how many bees I say? Belly button boy, three bees. Billy loved digging, the deeper the better, and some of that dirt got under his sweater. At the beach, Billy buried himself in the sand, and even his sister would lend him a hand. When people told Billy, you're covered with dirt, people just answered, well, dirt doesn't hurt. So soon Billy's navel was filled like a cup with all kinds of things that boys will dig up. And under that dirt, that muck, grime, and grout, the tiniest seed had started to sprout. Do you see all the different layers of different types of dirt in his belly button with a tiny little seed at the bottom? He's so unsuspecting sleeping there. This was something he just couldn't share. He knew that his sister would tease him and stare. Did I miss a page? I missed a page. It's okay. Sometimes mistakes happen. Let me see what happened before that. There it is. It grew through the night and then in the morning it woke Billy up without any warning. There in his belly a little bush stood and Billy just gasped, this isn't good. This was something he just couldn't share. He knew that his sister would tease him and stare. And as for his friends, they'd mock him and jeer. The things they would say, he would rather not hear. He's plugging his ears and frowning, imagining all the different things people might say. So though it was warm, Billy put on long sleeves. He had to wear clothes that would hide all of his leaves. He caught the school bus and kept to himself, then hid in the library behind a bookshelf. He leafed through a book on what made things grow, but the book didn't tell him what he needed to know. Like how in the world had this happened to him? To wake up one morning and have a new limb? He went to the boys room and locked in a stall. He saw that his plant was now several feet tall. He raced past the gym and straight to the nurse. He had to go home before things got worse. The nurse sent him home, where up in his room, he looked in the mirror and cried, I'm in bloom. He knew it was time for him, for him to reveal the truth he had tried so hard to conceal. To hide, he was trying to hide it, his secret. His sister had screamed, it's all that I need. What can I say, my brother's a weed? His father turned white, perfectly pallid. He said to his son, you look like a salad. Although the problem clearly had shocked her, his mother just said, let's go see a doctor. Doc Dudley had seen him through fevers and flus, but Billy's new problem was medical news. Your case is a matter beyond this physician. I think a landscaper should treat your condition. Let's go ahead and hear what my gardener will say. He sees like th these things in his field every day. The gardener was kind, wisdom shone from his eyes. He looked Billy over and showed no surprise. The thing that you've got here, green leafy and fruited, could best be removed if it were quickly uprooted. Remember when you took all of the leaves of the carrot tops into your hands and you pulled as hard as you can? Do that now and we'll try to get Billy Button's plant out. Ready, here we go. He gave a big tug, ugh, then uttered, I've got it. And now that I've got it, I think we should pot it. He took, he looked down at Billy and said, with your pardon, a boy's belly button should not be a garden. You've got a great gift, son, for growing things green. 
but your navel is one place you've got to keep clean. Billy now washes himself head to toe, especially in places where dirt likes to go. He doesn't want this to happen again, though the gardener did tell him Dirt is our friend. The end. Thanks so much for staying and reading with me. Wishing you well. Bye.